polar plot is a interesting way to represent data when data spatially has magnitude and phase to it this is used in control system the most uh, it is also used in navigation like for example gps navigation radar and in this video we are going to understand how can we use polar plots with mat plot so let's begin with it hi my name is amit and welcome to my channel here we'll be writing our python code to uh, understand how to use polar plot so first i need to have uh, data where uh, uh, which can be represented in in a polar format so to uh, uh, get data we'll be using numpy library numpy as np from matplotlib import pyplot because this is the sub library that actually has uh, all the plots as plot and first let's create our data and to have data will uh, uh, since in the polar format you have phase and the magnitude so we'll create my uh, phase first theta is equals to np dot range np dot pi and uh, let's keep resolution as 0.01 okay and uh, let's have a magnitude magnitude uh, let's plot our data in a sine magnitude sine magnitude uh, so we'll be needing the frequency frequency let's keep it as 2 np dot pi dot theta yeah so uh, up until this we have created our data now let's plot it now to plot uh, it is quite easy as as that of the uh, usual plot but here we need to mention that uh, this plot is going to be uh, the polar one and how to mention that we have this uh, property called projection projection and here we need to mention that it is a polar that's it here we need to mention that projection is polar now here simple rather than using a uh, plot command here we will use polar polar and then theta dot magnitude and that's it will be showing our data plot dot show that's it let's print out and check our data representation yeah so we have our data represented in the polar form got it phase and magnitude right now let's play around with a few of the attributes what can we do uh, to change to represent our data in a best way and also we are interested in plotting two uh, polar plots side by side so we'll be creating axis uh, onto it and uh, we'll be uh, displaying two formats two plots so let's uh, create our uh, axis first as in subplot we will be needing two separate data to plot so let's create our second data so uh, let me give it a name as theta1 and magnitude1 so similarly let's create a straight line magnitude2 is equals to np dot range from 0 0.0, 0 0.02, 2.0, 0 
with the resolution of 0.01 okay and let's create a theta and it is nothing but it should be in the uh, angular format right so 2 and p dot pi magnitude 2 we have uh, data available now so uh, we can now plot on two separate axes uh, and that will be shown in one figure so here uh, we are going to use uh, plots uh, plot dot subplot command to create our uh, axes and uh, to do that uh, here is the syntax ax1 comma ax2 so uh, this function is going to return us two axes uh, and uh, the command is plot dot subplots row and column so we need to mention how many uh, plots do you want to have so i want uh, one row two column plot and uh, here i i need to mention subplot kw value to be polar because uh, only then uh, it will it will be creating the polar pol polar graphs so here I need to mention projection projection polar okay so this is going to return us two axes and this uh, these axes uh, could be plotted uh, with the individual data their individual data and can be shown on one figure so to plot that data so we have this command axis one dot plot and here we'll be using theta and magnitude one right and uh, similarly for uh, axis two we'll be using axis two and uh, theta two and x magnitude two and plot dot show right so let's run this command uh, run this right so we have two individual uh, plots available side by side that's great yeah so uh, the other thing uh, uh, the important thing could be that uh, can we only have uh, you know complete polar plots i mean from 0 to 360 degrees can we not have uh, the, the plot from 0 to 90 degrees 0 to 180 degree yeah that is also possible and uh, so here we need to mention that so let's say for example x is 2 dot set underscore theta max so here you can mention how many uh, you know degrees of uh, plot do you want to have uh, let's uh, make it 180 degree for uh, the axis 2 and let's try uh, you know plotting this one yeah so here you could see yeah it is only displaying 0 to 180 degree plot so uh, accordingly you can modify it to whatever angle that you want so if you have uh, data limited to only uh, these many phases that is 0 to 90 you can have one only for 0 to 90 so that the data representation uh, looks better rather than having a complete plot so this is how we could uh, plot our data in the polar format and if you are interested in using uh, you know matplot for your Cartesian plots, your regular plots. So here is the video for you. I have uh, a separate video for that. And if you are interested in using polar plots for an application, so one application I have uh, created as uh, for radar using ultrasonic sensor. So here is the link for you as well. And uh, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so that you will be posted whenever I upload new videos. And thank you for now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.